you perform a band face pull, you'll want a band secured at about like chest height. And then from there, you're going to grab hold of the band. If you have like a set of tubing, you can just grab hold of each handle and have your hands in a neutral grip. If you don't have tubing, then using like a long loop circle band like this is fine as well. So I'm going to actually kind of separate this out. I'm going to wrap it around my fingers because it makes it easier to, around my thumbs, because it makes it easier to <clears throat> keep that neutral grip. But however you want to grab hold of it, it's fine so that it doesn't hit you in the face. So remember too, that you can vary where your hands are placed based on how much resistance you want. So less resistance will be having your hands a little bit closer together and giving yourself a little bit more uh, space here. If you want more resistance, have your hands placed closer to the base of the band. So from this position, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Personally, I like to have like a split stance with my feet, but if you can hold this position with your, hand, with your feet side by side, that's fine as well. You're pulling the band back and you wanna think of elbows flaring out and back and hands coming up to face level. So it's this kind of feeling. Um, you could do it with palms facing down also. It's going to be similar in nature, but part of the idea is that external rotation that happens at the shoulder. So if you can go do elbows back and then arms, hands up and back by your ears, think of pulling to the level of your ears, like you're going to make a, you know, double bicep position, then that's, that's kind of ideal. Okay. So pulling all the way back. And as this gets easier, you can, once again, either move your hands closer to the base of the band, you can double up the band, or just try to in uh, increase the difficulty of which band you're using. 